Hi all, welcome back to Ari a way for searching knowledge. Today we are going to learn some of the basic tools used in the managerial economics. Okay, so uh, some of this managerial economics li tools like incremental principle, EQ marginal principle, opportunity cost principle we already learned in the previous lectures. For recalling your memories, I would like to revise this all points one more time after that we will discuss other basic tools also okay so first basic principle is incremental principle okay incremental principle have two sides one is incremental cost and the other one is incremental revenue these two sides were there so if i took a decision in the business uh, to shift uh, into an other kind of product if I decided to add a new product to the existing product okay so you know that it will cost its cost will raise like that its revenue from that also will raise this is called incremental principle through through our decision if the cost or the revenue increased it's called incremental principle okay then eq the second one is eq marginal principle eq marginal principle means when i consume something the same kinds of units more and more times it will reduce my satisfaction level but I can manage this like that uh, there have lot of different kinds of foods I like okay so I can just uh, consider one spoon of each kinds or one piece of each kinds of different foods to consume then my satisfaction level will be maximum it's called eq marginal principle we can decide the different kinds of products that will increase our maximum satisfaction level is called eq marginal principle okay then we are moving toward the next that is opportunity cost principle opportunity cost principle means there will uh, this kinds of opportunity cost principle will be applied uh, to those kinds of um, decision which have two alternative uses sorry two alternative options before you okay just like if a, there were a machine in our showroom okay so by using this machine is we can possible to produce different kinds of products okay then we can apply this opportunity cost principle like that you know that you nowadays you were completed uh, you are uh, plus two or um, 12th class okay so you decided to join in the BBA as your option okay but there were mainly two related options before you that you can choose BBA as your graduation course or you can choose BCom as your graduation course okay I know that you find some advantages in BBA course that's why you chosen that so if you choose one option before you then you lost some of the benefit from other option it is called opportunity cost principle if i took become as my graduation course there were lot of option before me there were lot of advantages before me so I lost it or I lose it for to 
John in the BBA. This kind of cost is called opportunity cost principle. That means the cost next best alternative which is foregone by you. The benefit that is foregone by you is called opportunity cost. Here they were not measuring the cost actually. They were taking consideration uh, what is the benefit if you choose some other alternative instead of this. Okay. It's called opportunity cost principle. Then we can move into time perspective principle. Time perspective principle means as a businessman, he want to decide or he want to consider the time because time is precious. You know that. So, there were different kinds of uh, product you can see um, like perishable goods. Perishable goods you can see, durable goods you can see. Shopping goods you can see, luxurious items, a lot of different kinds of products were there. So, if I produce something, I want to know with the time gap or time interval when I get the return from it. If I took one decision, I know, I want to know that when the return will get from such a decision, before joining into BBA, you want to know that when you will get the return from BBA course. So you will consider all those kinds of things. There were a lot of options before you after plus two, like Polytechnics were there, you can join other kinds of different kinds of uh, options were there. So, I think you choose BBA as your course because of that's a professional course. That's why you choose that. Because after BBA, you can join in different kinds of companies. Okay. So, if you take a decision, you want to analyze when the return will generate from AIDS. So like that, the manager also want to know the time interval when if uh, the manager take a decision, so he want to know that when its income will generate from such kind of decision. It's called time perspective. They want to, the manager should want to consider the time the value of time is called time perspective principle according to this principle a manager should give due emphasis he want to give more importance to both the short term and also long term impact on his decision when he take a decision like for short period it uh, its income will generate for uh, one or two minutes if i buy uh, a gas out for my business uh, or uh, that will generate our income for uh, uh, for a few months okay so i want to i want before my investment before i taking a decision i want to uh, decide that how much its income the duration will the duration of income will generate okay this kind of things i want to consider that's called uh, both the short term and also long term decision if i buy a new machine instead of the old one you know that the machine will um, stay in the business for uh, more than 20 or 15 years if it, that's a good business okay so uh, such kind of uh, machine will um, the at 20 or 30 years okay so I want to consider all those kinds of factors which will affect the my long-term investment decision and also short-term investment decision short-term investment decision means income will generate for two or three months as called if I buy uh, one 
one food item for the workers its income its um uh, we can see its uh, if it's energy oriented products we can see its um uh, uh its uh, duration at the time period for that energy will uh, extend up to one week okay so that's kind of things i want to consider that's called short term decision but long term means we are taking this kinds of decision for a long period in the business it's called long term periods decision okay so here you can see short term investment decision and also long term investment decision this kinds of um, Mm, this the factors that were considered in it we will discuss in the further classes okay so next one is discounting principle discounting principle you know that the time value of money is very very important if i invest 1000 rupees today when its income will generate after 3 years if i go 1000 only sorry thousands only from its after 3 years as it have value like before 3 years when i investing it no why if you ask your parents or grandparents do you know 50 paise or 25 paise they will answer to you that they will answer to you that they had bought a lot of things with this paise so but now we can't possible to buy nothing with this amount so what i like to see that the time value of money a rupee today in our hand is better than tomorrow if i get today 1 rupee today i can reinvest this amount in other project 1 rupee i just assume 1 rupee you can take it as 1 crore 1 lakh as you like okay so a 1 rupee today is more valuable than tomorrow maybe tomorrow 1 rupee have no value maybe okay you know that like okay so what i want to consider i want to um mention that the time value of money is very very important when i took some kinds of decision so if i buy something or if i invest in something if its income generate soon as very very important that's called discounting factor if you can, i know that you hear the proverb like one bird in your hand in your hand is better than is better than two birds in the bush you know that there were more birds in bushes okay but e one is in your hand that's more better than two bushes sorry two birds or more birds that flying in the sky okay so i would like to say that if you have 1 rupee with you today is more valuable than tomorrow if that get after uh two or more years later more than that if today that in your hand is more valuable that is called discounting principle okay discounting can be as a process there will lot of tools used to analyze if i invest 1000 today okay i got this it's return after 3 years back 
then what value of thousand at that time we will analyze it by using some of the economic principles that is called discounting principle once more if thousand rupee i have uh, i would like to invest in something today okay its income will generate after three years later so the value of the thousand rupee at that time will be estimated today is called discount principle okay i think it's clear okay you can just go through the slides okay then next one is optimization optimization means you know that our resources our finance in the business our resources in the urge to produce that pro that product okay is scarce in earth so you you just want to know that if we using something if you um spending some cash for your graduation course you want to get maximum benefit in it like that there were lot of objective within the business also so before investing in or we want to ensure the maximum return from it it's called optimization optimization simply means maximum use of the scarce resources is called optimization scarce means limited maximum use of limited resources resources means at any at any, any kinds of things that we can use for our production that may be finance or the raw material uh, like that okay so if you use some scarce resources we want to get maximum benefit from it it's called optimization for this purpose we are using some kinds of uh, economic theories like marginal analysis calculus and linear programming etc that's it so if you have any doubts in this lectures please ask in the comment box of your google classroom okay so thank you have a good day